Hey everyone, welcome back to Scoop of the Crispy. I'm Mike and we're continuing on with Bravely Default. We're here in the Water Temple, let's go. So we're trying to find Olivia. She supposedly is in the Temple of Water. I mean, she's supposedly not here, but we're gonna find her. So go ahead and subscribe to keep up with all the latest and greatest videos. Leave your comments below. Let's check this out. Here we go. It's go time. Adventure, adventuring time. Yeah, remedy. Sweet. Um... Well, let's just go here. Let's see what they say. A, pi a pious life. Not a person in sight. Still, it's a relief to see the temple's unharmed. The Temple of Wind was torn apart. I was worried we'd find it the same here. Indeed. At the very least, it seems the Acolytes escaped harm, or so I hope. Hmm. The smell of air here is so nostalgic. I hear all four temples share a similar design. Perhaps they all feel this way. The construction is plain, just stone and simple walls, no ornamentation to speak of. But when the sun filters in, the prayer hall was suffused with a calm warmth. I used to love just watching the light pour through the windows. I can imagine how peaceful that would be. I'm certain to see it seems tr a dreadful, dull, monotonous life to outsiders. But to me, life in the temple was rich and beautiful, perfectly tranquil. Tranquility is great in moderation. But didn't you even get the urge to know what was going on in the outside world? It is not as if we completely forsook the world around us. The world within the temple was simply enough for us. That's all. Oh, Sounds like it would suck. We gotta go check on it. What are you doing here, buddy? It only gets worse. Wait, what? Um... Is there gonna be a boss battle? Am I okay? Oh, I'm like, had the crap beat out of me. Let me just save just in case. I don't. I'm like, bleeding everywhere. Just blood dripping. Okay. Alright, what do we got here? Okay. The wind crystal. Let's see what it looks like. Zoom out, zoom out, zoom out. No. Oh, it is the same thing. Sad. It's all clogged up. The drain is clogged. A shield already surrounds the crystal. The same as that I placed upon the crystal of wind. Ooh. Then, does that mean Olivia already awakened this one? But it's so dim. Hmm. It looks more like the shield was put up to stop the dark from swallowing the crystal entirely. The Water Vestal is the only one who could have created it, and now only she can remove it. Alright, let's go find her. She must have sensed what was happening sooner than I. She managed this just before the crystal was lost. And then she hid. I can't say what her reasons were, but she handled the situation brilliantly. I'm impressed. Yeah, better than you, Wind Vestal. There's no risk of the crystal being swallowed up like this, or of any humans meddling with it. The fact that her shield stands is proof Olivia lives. Isn't it, Airy? Airy. Uh-huh. Airy. Wherever she is, she's doing fine. That's an annoyance. Yeah, she's belief. like dying somewhere. So that means we need to find her if we want to awaken the water crystal. Right? Yeah, let's go. Come on. That's the best way, certainly. But not the only one. Oh. These shields can only be invoked by the vestals of fire, water, wind, and earth, and dismissed by the same. But that's not to say that the Water Vestal's shield can only be dismissed by the Water Vestal. You just said that. You should be able to get past your shield on, yes? And awaken the Water Crystal, too! I don't think that's gonna be... Is that true? Yes, there are two such cases written of in the Crystallist scriptures. I don't I know. think you should do it! Here and now, while we have the chance! Uh, that's not... The whole world could fall into shadow if we don't hurry! We can search for Olivia as soon as we're done. I don't think that's a good idea. 
I cannot. Good. See? If the water crystal is to be awakened, it ought to be at Olivia's See, hands. In your fa in your face, Airy. The rite of awakening yeah. has been performed only a handful of times in the history of the crystal orthodoxy. It's only right that Olivia be the one to release the prayers of the lineage of water vestals. Okay. Well, yes, but we don't know where but she I is. Where do we her. even start looking? Let us return and speak with the matriarch again. All right, fine. Okay, let's go. Yeah. All right, so we got to go find Olivia. She's not in the temple. Maybe she is hiding in somewhere. Wait, what? Oh, great. Valkyries. Lovely. Let no believer escape. Show any who struggle no mercy. What? They found us. It's over. Oh, oh no, it's, there she is. Olivia. Keep hope alive. We have to make it to safety. Now run. She's what wearing the garb. Is a quiet life of piety such a grave offense? We've done no wrong. No wrong at all. Olivia. Okay, let's go back. I need to rest up, dude. My... My health and magic are all... Are all, uh, bleeding up. Do it. You guys are mine. That was kind of tough. Ugh. I will destroy you. Good job, everybody. Okay. Time to, uh... Time to go to sleep. If you know what I mean. Like, seriously, I'm gonna stop at the end. Okay. Sweet dreams await for just 4 PG. PG. Stay. The floral aroma will soothe you to sleep. <laughs> oh. Whew. Okay, thank you. Two tired boys. <laughs> you said it. Yeesh, what's got you two yawning first thing in the morning? Actually, don't answer that, ring a bell. I can guess, but Tiz, why are you tired? Isn't it obvious? Those darn neon signs were flickering all night long. Then as soon as I finally get to sleep, Mr. Night Owl here comes stumbling back into our room. And we already know you're a neurotic sleeper. Can't we call it a light sleeper? Look, here's some coffee. These are tired times, so I made it black. Thanks, that's great. But I don't drink coffee. Haha, <laughs> look at this one. He fell asleep still holding the cup. Don't go drowning in your coffee, ring a bell. He was sleeping. Ring a bell is sleeping. Okay, so that's that. Yeah. Oh wait. Wait, what? This is even more powerful than the sword I just bought? Man. Uh, dang it. I want to buy it so bad. Let's see. Ooh. The Rod of Fire. Jade Core, that thing. Frenzied Dagger. Composite Bow. Spike. Ooh. Well, well, look what we found for Ring a Bell. Be gentle with that. Oh, Yggdrasil Helm. <gasps> hey, no. Hey, no. Huh? Huh? Hmm. Acorn Hat. 
Hmm. Yeah, I like that. Um, maybe not. I don't know. I'm just, I'm torn, okay? Ooh. Floral robe. Well, yeah, because it's so expensive. Sheesh. Here, I'll give it to What's-Her-Face. Okay, so... We're gonna equip you. And then we're gonna equip you. Now nah, we're gonna equip you. Yeah! Mmm. That's good. That's good for now. I shall accept that. And we shall continue onward. Is that what I think it was? That is! Seriously, dude, why is it that every sexy girl is portrayed, I guess it's like, when you're the original, and you put bunny ears on a girl, then now everybody's like, hey, it's a fun symbol, it's fun, it's cool, it's cool everybody, what's up? Okay, we'll go back to the matriarch, talk to her, see, what, see what's on her mind, you know, just kind of... Kind of, kind of drill into Not her, just drill empty, into her skull. But utterly abandoned, you say? Still, it pains me to say I haven't a clue where the Vestal of Water may be. Indeed, I'd hope that might be something you could tell me on your return from the temple. I am sorry. Then we're at an impasse. What drove her into hiding to begin with? Were the Eternian forces after her? If they wanted Agnes, it stands to reason. Well, I don't know. Is she in hiding now? Who was sent here to Florum? The Blood Rose Legion! Do we go pick a fight? Yeah, let's beat him up. I am a wanted criminal, and you a traitor. We could be marching to our own executions. That's fine. I'm ready. If I may. This seems like a job for my journal, hmm? Let's see what hints it can offer. Hmm? I'm not certain this is terribly relevant, but I found a curious passage. Huh. What does it say? Anything could help. Promise you won't get mad. Uh, very well. The Wind Vestal entered the Sacred Flower Festival. Yes. And it ends there. What? Wait, what? I knew it. Give I it knew up, it. Bell. There's no way she's entering some tawdry <laughs> pageant. Let yes. me see that. Yes, yes, yes. That's awesome. Huh. Well, I'll be. It really does say that. Dang it, I wanted a Idea to, to <sighs> enter it. I want Anya. Anya's? Hello? Anya's is annoying. She's... There's no call to panic here. I mean, yeah, I know she was a hermit. Just because it says something in Ring of Bell's book doesn't mean you're forced to play along if you don't. Well... No, I'll do it. Actually, what? it does. Are you serious? Really? You really have to do it Though if it's in a journal. Though the celebration has changed, the festival remains Florum's most important ritual, does it not? Just so. It was a time of prayer for the year to come, for a bountiful harvest and freedom from illness or harm. One girl was chosen for her purity of heart to serve as flower maiden till the next year's festival. She would join the spirits in nurturing Florum's flowers. It was an honor and a great responsibility. Oh, that's nice. But recent years have seen it become a hollow shell. Oh. They compete by skin deep beauty alone. Yeah, isn't that how it works? Yet it still remains an important event, attended by all in Florida. Isn't that how you do beauty pageants? It's about skin if deep, enter, right? Huh? Olivia will know I've come to seek her out. Aha! Then we won't have to look for her because she'll find us. There you go. Perfect. It's dangerous. That's a lot of attention you'll be calling to yourself. That's fine. I understand the risks, but if it means I am able to see Olivia, I will enter. Everything's going according to plan. Then, I'll help however I can. I'm not certain a man would get far in the competition, Tiz. 
No, not that way. I didn't say I would enter. <laughs> uh, well, that would be less people for them to choose from. This is all so roundabout. Are we really doing this? I still say awakening the crystal should come first. Are you listening? Hey! Eri, given the tasks that lie ahead, I think enlisting the aid of the other Vestals must come first. It's true. I guess, but still... So, do you have any idea of how the new Sacred Flower Festival even works, Agnes? I do not. Given all the changes here, the mind boggles. Well, we did pick up that flyer. Let's have a look. Oh, -ho. entrance will flaunt their beauty on the stage for all to see, it says. Beauty contest, plain and simple then. From the sound of nice. it, competition will be fierce. I knew this was going to happen. I have no need to win. I need only alert Olivia to my presence. But, and I say this with love, you're rather plain, dear. You could get lost in the sea of color. Burn! That was awesome. Uh, am I? Then what do you propose? Makeover! Luckily, the potential here is top-notch. Wouldn't you say it is? Huh? Uh, why are you asking me? <laughs> that's awesome. Oh, that's great. <laughs> He's blushing, blushy blush face. You're a gemstone in the rough, eyes. <laughs> That's my professional opinion. Then tell me, what must I do? Makeover. Hmm. I suppose step one is studying up on the trends here in Florin. All right, we gotta figure this out. Hmm. Party chat. Trez fashionable. Hmm, what's fashionable here? Fashion what? Fashionable, you know, fashionable. That's how the hip kids say it back home. Fashionable. Oh, I have to look at this. Ta-da! And an heirloom floral linen stole. That's lovely. It's so fashionable. Not fashionable. Fashionable. Fashion of la, then Adea, E, Edia. Where do you? Where did you find it? I'm envious. Aren't you? It was a gift from my mother years and years ago. If you wrap it around you like this, it makes for a perfect accent. Absolutely fashionable. You're always fashionable, though, Edia. Not fashionable, fashionable. <laughs> Although you're nearly as fashion-minded as she is, Ringabel, you're always fussing over your hair, and your shoes are blinding. What can I say? I live my life in front of the mirror. A pro, a proper promador is a joy and a responsibility. Shoes and a belt must match. But that's only the beginning. You do, don't know the half of it. Clothing and I really like, I never wear. I don't want to get it dirty, do I? What? Use are clothes you can't wear. See, Tiz? You're the only country bumpkin in the group. Give this stole a try. Stoles on guys are in this season. But this season is warm. What's the point of wearing a scarf when it's not cold out? Scarf? It's not a... Here, just try it. Okay, everybody. Wait. Pause. Button. Pause. There's a girl I know who always wears scarves, even when it's not cold. Okay, so it is in fashion. Okay, and it's kind of annoying. This is giant scarves. It's like, what are you wearing? Anyway, keep going. At times, one must suffer to be fashionable. This has to look ridiculous. Oh, well, I think of it as a sweat towel. Tis, you look very, er, uh, fashionable. You'd look right at home, weeding a garden. Huh. <laughs> Alright, that's gonna do it, folks. Thanks for watching. Go ahead and subscribe to keep up with all the latest and greatest videos. Leave your comments below, and we'll see you next time with some more... Bravely Defaults. <laughs>